the weekend, NASA launched the first of two tiny satellites that could have a huge impact on the understanding of our weather, climate change, and sea level rise right here in the Bay Area. ABC 7 meteorologist Drew Tuma has a look inside. Turns out, if you want to understand the future of Earth's climate, you need to measure it top to bottom. That's why NASA researchers are about to zero in on the North and South Poles, trying to understand how much heat is flowing through the Earth's basement and attic. Regions that are warming even more quickly than the rest of the planet. Brian Druin is a principal investigator with the NASA Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena. Brian, why are we studying the poles? Why is that so important in regards to the rest of the Earth? There's a tremendous amount of ice, uh, which when it melts, it goes into the oceans and spreads around the whole planet and causes the sea level to rise. First, it helps to understand that hotter air from the tropics typically churns around the planet, with a significant portion being released into space at the polar regions. But what if increasing greenhouse gases change that pattern? To learn the answer, NASA is launching two shoebox-sized satellites in a mission called PreFire. They'll orbit both the Arctic and Antarctica, measuring the radiant energy being released. And that area where the heat is emitted, it's not well studied, and it's changing. It's changing fast due to the warming climate. And the consequences could be lasting. Researchers have already documented a decades-long pattern of global sea level rise. But fellow NASA JPL researcher Josh Willis also studies how that ocean warming is melting glaciers from underneath. And that includes massive areas from Greenland to the so-called Doomsday Glacier in Antarctica, measuring 80 miles across. Glaciers in Antarctica are the elephant in the room. They're huge. Uh, they have the potential to disappear very quickly. And they're really being driven by ocean warming. Understanding the changes at the poles could be key to predicting the changes the Bay Area will see in the coming decades. Everything from erosion along our coastline to rising sea levels that could threaten the shores of San Francisco Bay. The rise we saw in the early 90s uh, was less than half of the rate of rise that we see now. But what can we expect and how much time we have to prepare are still critical questions. Questions NASA hopes to answer in part with the help of two shoe boxes in space collecting critical data about our planet. Drew Tuma, ABC 7 News.